Hello, this is Ryan with the Audubon Society of Western Pennsylvania, and today I'm on the hunt for some clay because I have kind of a fun, whimsical project. I want to give it a shot. So, whenever we look at geology of Pennsylvania, generally you're going to find topsoil up on top of the ground. This is where the plants grow out of. Under that, you get this lighter colored subsoil. It's almost like a like a light brown. So we have our topsoil, subsoil, and if we keep going down, it especially happens at creeks and rivers, underneath the subsoil we have usually a layer of clay. And I can see that there's a line right here. And the subsoil goes to clay. It's a grayer color. I can pull some out here. And underneath the clay, we would eventually hit bedrock. So this stuff's nice and smushy. It's put down in layers. And the only real difference between sand, silt, and clay are the size of the particles. So the clay particles are microscopic. So there's some of my clay. And then I'm going to gather up some of that and we'll start on our project. So it would have been important to people in the past to be able to know where to get clay, especially potters, whenever that was you know, one of the main modes that you would cook in and store things in. And we're lucky in Western Pennsylvania, we have a lot of clay deposits. Some are better for pottery than others. This looks to be a pretty high quality clay. So I'm gonna haul some up from the creek side up to my base camp and we'll start our project soon. So we have a little charcoal pit and we've taken some green multiflora rose, stripped all the prickles off of them, set them in a circle here. And we got some nice river clay we can build up our little heater with. So we have a clay base set on uh, pulverized charcoal and some rock. We have our sticks in a circle. And now we're gonna build the walls up. That'll be the entrance where we can feed the fire. There's my son Rowan mixing up the clay that we dug out of the riverbank. Hard work, huh? Yeah. But worth it? Yep. So here we are, getting some of the walls up. Rowan's processing clay over there, getting it nice and smooth. So here we've got one of the courses up. It's about a foot high. There's the doorway. There's the inside of the firing chamber. And we're gonna wanna draw this up and make a chimney up on top. It's gonna take a few days for it to dry and then we're gonna have to fire it. So anyway, it's coming along nice. All right, here we are. Getting close to being done with our build of our clay heater. So the only reason I have this second opening here so that I can have a place to reach in as I'm finishing these walls. Next, we're gonna put a round chimney that's gonna come up here so that it'll draw really nicely. And this will be the door. Maybe we'll get a little stone that we can put in front and act as a, as a damper. But overall, it's looking pretty good. I'll clip off these sticks that have been giving the whole thing support. And if you had this inside of a shelter, you could make that clay chimney go as high as you wanted and then this clay would get hot and it would just radiate out heat. In fact, I don't want it to be perfectly smooth, so these bumpy edges will act as more surface area to radiate the heat out. So here is our finished little survival stove. You can see inside, that's where the fire would go. Uh, I put a little face on it just for fun. So this is just a fun outside project. Collected some river clay, reinforced it with some multiflora rose uh, branches that I took the prickles off of. Made a little chimney up here for the smoke to go out. It'll take a few days to dry and then I can light it up. So, this is Ryan with the Audubon Society of Western Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching this uh, little nature craft video and check out aswp.org for more information and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.